Hi everybody and welcome to Puppy Steps for 2017. We've taken a little bit of a break over the holidays. Um, I hope you had a good time with your puppies then and I hope you managed to stay cool, especially if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. I'm sure that was not a problem if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> um, if you've had a go over that time at any of the concepts that we talked about last year, we'd love to hear how that was going. And in particular, if you've got any questions at all, please let us know. Okay, so we're going to kick off the year with a topic called husbandry behaviours and husbandry training. Now this is something that you guys might not be familiar with and not the people have not heard that term um, and that's totally fair enough. What it means is behaviours that um, you might need uh, your, to have your dog do or um, to take care of their health, to take care of their well-being when they go to the vet, when they're getting groomed. It's all of those kinds of things. So it's things like getting an injection, getting their nails clipped, maybe getting um, some eye ointment or something in their ears for an infection. All these kinds of things, those are all called husbandry behaviours. Okay, These are things that often we don't train our dogs or our cats or our birds or anything like that to do. But when you think about it, wouldn't it be brilliant if they were used to that and they could happily accept and participate in these kinds of activities instead of what often happens when we're at the vet, which is we need three people to restrain a dog to take some blood. Not fun for anybody, not fun for the dog, and the vets don't enjoy it either. And they're much more likely to possibly get a bit of a nip from a dog who's scared and doesn't really know what's going on. Okay. Now in zoos, they do an amazing job at this. In a lot of zoos, they will teach a lot of husbandry training so that you can do things like um, get a gorilla to willingly give a sample of blood or give a dolphin an ultrasound, all these kinds of things. Um, they teach them all with positive reinforcement and the dogs will willing, the dogs, <laughs> the wild animals will willingly participate in these activities. Now these are wild animals again, okay? So these guys are bigger and heavier. They've got bigger teeth and bigger claws <laughs> than our dogs and cats and our birds. Although maybe some of the birds would challenge them. <laughs> so this is something that we can definitely do with our pets, okay? It's just something that often we don't train. Now, wonderful colleague of ours at All Pets Education and Training has actually set up a 12-month challenge for 2017 to teach your pets some husbandry behaviours. There's a different challenge every month um, and there, she will also be able to provide us with some videos of how to go about training those behaviours and even better, there are prizes every month to win from Chew Chomp and Chill. Hi Chew Chomp and Chill, we'll talk about them in another whole different episode. Um, so, what you can do is I'm going to link below here to um, the website and to um, the Facebook page and all that kind of stuff so you can find out all the information from All Pets Education and Training. You can have a go at this with your dogs and then you can submit your videos at the end of the month to the All Pets and Education Training uh, Facebook page um, to compete for some of those prizes. And along all that way, enjoy some awesome training with your dog, okay? So we'll link to that information here. We'll share some of it on Facebook as well. Um, and you can have a look. And then if you've got any questions about any of this at any time, or want to give us um, a bit of a look at how things are going, or talk about any of that, we would love to hear from you. Um, in the comments below or on the Facebook page, that would be really, really wonderful. Um, in a couple of videos as well as we go along, we're going to show you some of the other work that we've been doing um, with Tyler and Sam as we go through. We're going to try and participate in this challenge as much as we can as well. Um, Tyler's particularly scared of the vet, so this is something we have been working on with him already. Um, and he's doing really well now, but it's a very um, trying time for him. So this kind of training is set up to help your dogs in these and times. Often when they're at the vet, they're already maybe sick. They're certainly probably nervous because of all the smells and people and stuff going on. So having your dog um, a little bit more used to these behaviors in a positive environment where they've been rewarded a lot for these behaviors um, and they're used to these kinds of things happening is going to make life a lot easier for them and for you. Okay, if you've got any questions at all about any of that, please again let us know. We'd love to hear from you. And definitely go over to the All Pets Education and Training links and Facebook page so that you can check out this challenge and start giving it a go for yourself. Fantastic, we'll talk to you soon. Tyler's saying bye. I've got a paw, getting a bit of a little paw shake here. There you go. No, little baba. All right, guys, all the best of luck and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on Facebook.